Hey guys, so it is Christmas time again, and it's also time for the force. So may the force be with you, and also with you. Catholic habits, man. Today we're gonna be creating a Marshmallow Cornflakes Christmas tree themed after Star Wars. I made all the droids, I made Chewbacca. This tree is working it. I'm proud of this, I'm excited, so let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is create your marshmallow cornflakes tree. Now, I didn't want to cook in my kitchen so I'm cooking on top of my mix tape because it's fire. Not many people know that I can sing but y'all I can lay some Streisand on that track. Y'all want to hear something sick? Let me sing some Gladys Knight for you guys. <laughs> now all of this footage is environmentally friendly so it's being recycled from my last Christmas tree. I had two designs this year. So I placed my pot on top of my mixtape and then I added in some butter. I put the volume on high so the butter's gonna melt fairly quickly. Now the complete recipe is in the description box. All the portions for all the different ingredients are there. You can make different sized trees as well. I'm making the largest recipe and then I'm gonna double it because I want a humongous tree. Adding marshmallows into my melted butter and mini marshmallows would work best for this. But I'm using regular marshmallows because the miniature marshmallows were $1.99 and the regular ones were 99 cents. Supermarket, am I right? Ralph Supermarket, just so you know, I'm not playing your game. I'm just gonna keep mixing the marshmallows into the butter until it's completely smooth and then I'm gonna add some food coloring. I'm measuring my food coloring because I am doing a double batch and I want to make sure that both batches are the exact same color. Just incorporate all of my food coloring and then add my cornflakes. And I'm adding these into the marshmallow batter in four different increments so it doesn't get all over the place doesn't belong in your face. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Jack in the box? Is that Jack in the box slogan? Now I'm just gonna use my wooden spatula to mix all of my cornflakes into the marshmallow mixture. Now it's probably not gonna look like enough, but trust me, it's enough. Once I was happy with it, I turned my mixtape off and then I just set aside the mixture to cool for about 15 minutes. To make creating this tree easier, I created a template using a protractor. I just drew out different sized circles. And then darken them with a little sharpie marker. Now you won't need to do this because there is a printout for you in the description box. You're welcome. Take it, print it out. Yo, well. And when I first started making these trees, I would build them starting at the bottom and then working my way up to the top. But I realized that I was always running out, so sometimes I wouldn't have enough to complete the tree. But because we are doing this layer by layer, we are going to start with the top layer, which means we're going to create the smallest circle. And we're actually going to create a very tiny Christmas tree, which is going to be the top of the humongous Christmas tree. I just grabbed a little bit of cornflake mixture and created the top of the tree. Now using my template as a guide, I'm going to create the smallest circle and then just work my way out to create all of the other circles. Now these discs are progressively going to get larger, but they're all about 3 fourths of an inch to an inch thick so that my tree has consistent height. Once you finish creating all of your discs, we can start to stack our tree. So starting with the bottom, I'm just gonna add the first disc and then move on up, moving on up to the east side. I don't think I've ever even seen the Jeffersons. I just know the theme song because I would listen to it right before I changed the channel. I'm more of like a fish and pole kind of guy. Andy Griffith was my homeboy. I wonder how many of you kids are gonna understand any of these references. Do you guys know those shows or are you too young? Or am I too old? <laughs> and once your tree is looking stacked, it's like your mom. Perfection. So all of these ornaments are going to be created with rolled fondant. And the first one I'm going to be creating is R2D2. Now with a very small cookie cutter, I took some gray fondant and I cut it into a circle. And I'm going to use half of that circle to create R2D2's head. I attached that with a little bit of magic sauce onto some white fondant and I just cut out the rest of R2D2's shape. I'm going to give him some detailed arms with two white strips of fondant. And then using some blue fondant, I'm going to give him an eye 
and create some of the details around his head and his body. And with a little bit of black royal icing, I'm gonna give him his lens. Very tiny, but very, very cute. Now let's make Chewbacca. Now to create Chewbacca, I first started with a D-shaped piece of fondant for his head. And I have another round piece of fondant that I'm gonna turn into his body. Now I took my knife and added some small texture to the bottom of his head to kind of resemble fur. You know, all of these pieces are tiny, so I couldn't add that much detail to them. Now with the other piece of fondant, I'm going to create two legs, his arms, his neck, and then I'm just going to cut them the appropriate size. Now I push down his neck and then with a little magic sauce, I wet the neck area as well as his chest so I can give him his sash. His, is that like, it's like an artillery sash. Is it a sash? It's a sash, right? Cause he won Miss US, Mrs. Un, Mr. Universe, Mr. Artillery Universe back in 2005, remember that when he won that? Remember watching that? Steve Harvey hosted that show. That was such a great honor. Congratulations, Chewbacca. <laughs> uh, now using some white and black icing, I gave him some details for his eyes and a little tiny Chewbacca nose. Oh, it's so cute. Then I repeated that process to get more for my tree and I moved on to BB-8. For BB-8, I'm just using two fondant cutters to create his body and his head. I pushed down a little bit of the white fondant to create his body so that I can attach his head to it. And then with a little bit of orange royal icing, I created details for the top of his head, those circle things that go on his body. Then some black royal icing to create his eye. He's my favorite droid. I love this guy. Now let's make C-3PO. Now I'm gonna do almost the exact same thing that I did with Chewbacca, except for his head, I'm actually starting with a smaller circle. First I created his legs and his two arms and his neck. Push down his neck so that with a little magic sauce, I could attach his head. Now I'm gonna use a strip of black fondant to create the separation between his upper and his lower body. And then I use my knife to create a slit for his mouth and the back of my magic sauce paintbrush to create some eyes. I also use some toothpicks. And now besides Star Wars droids and creatures, I'm also gonna be using some Christmassy things. And with my little fondant cutter, I'm gonna create some snowflakes. And to create some very little candy canes, I twisted together white and red fondant and just rolled it really thin, curved it to get the cane and then just cut it to size. Now once I finished all of my pieces, I added on some royal icing onto my tree. Now I'm gonna stop you right here because this royal icing that I'm using is way too thin. It needs to be thicker. I should have added powdered sugar to make this icing thicker so that the pieces on my tree would stay. I just had to hold them there longer so that they would actually stay on the tree and not just slowly slide down. The whole time I was decorating this tree, I was watching Star Wars Clone Wars, the animated series. I was really surprised at how adult some of the conversations were. You know, they talked a lot about politics. You know, how the Senate really sort of dismantled the Republic. But I loved it. I love the Knights of the Old Republic. I loved Anakin's Padawan. And I'm gonna watch Star Wars Rebel next. Now after I finished placing on all of my ornaments, I added some blue ribbon, which is just a long piece of blue fondant. I'm just swirling it at a diagonal around the Christmas tree, and it looks really pretty. I'm also adding some blue and yellow six slits and some yellow gumballs just to give it more detail. And then I sprinkled on some edible snow, fresh snowfall. Yup, we are in dire need of some snowfall cause California has like three raging fires right now. Now after I finished placing on all of the snow, I added a toothpick to the top and placed on Darth Vader's head. 
I created a Darth Vader doll cake a while back and I just took that action figure and I just sliced off his head. This is a force cake and with the force we were able to take down Darth Vader. Yo, this looks sick, doesn't it? I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I love Darth Vader's head just chilling on the top of the tree. And I'm curious, which one of these characters is your favorite? R2D2, C3PO, BB-8, or Chewbacca. Now make sure you hit that notification button. I always point in the wrong direction, I don't know why. So that you get updates of everything I'm working on in the community tab and you get notified when a video goes up. Now have you guys seen The Last Jedi? Did you like it? What did you think about Rey getting married at the end? Did you like that? <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? Now I have an entire Star Wars playlist and I have three cakes that I'm adding to this playlist this month. My very cute R2D2 cake, a Princess Leia doll cake, and the Porg, or my chubby Porg. <laughs> I drew a regular Porg and then I drew a chubby Porg and I was like, I like the chubby guy. My man. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace.